hope you already got an idea how fantastic this lens is. It is one of my favorites from Vivita. It's a 200mm f3.5 lens made by Khomeini. I like to use old lenses uh, because I love bokeh. I started buying Vivita lenses because they were cheap. Later, I was blown away by the image quality. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about this underrated prime lens for which I paid less than 20 US dollars. I bought this several years ago, so I'm not sure what's the price now. But I can say that this is a very good lens with uh, very little limitations. I'm not much into bad photography, but yes, with manual lens like this, you can really get some good photos. I have not added any sharpness. So you can see the image quality and how smooth the bokeh is. Vivita 200mm was made by Kiron and Tokina as well. This one was made by Khomeini and has 62mm filter thread. One easy way to know if the lens is made by Khomeini is uh, serial number starts with 28. Like all other vintage lenses, it's all metal as well. Well built. Aperture starts at f3.5 and closes at f22. Aperture clicks nicely. When you focus closer, it extends. Focus is smooth. And it has a built-in lens suit. This lens is solid. Doesn't feel heavy to me. It's a sturdy lens. Time for the depth of field, sharpness, color renditions and distortion tests. As you can see, there is no distortion or visible chromatic aberration at 3.5. And it's fairly sharp at white open. But I have noticed purple or blue chroma can be seen in this picture. Now it's time to talk about what I like about this lens. This is a sharp lens, uh, color rendition is good, contrast is good, uh, bokeh is nice and smooth and it's a cheap lens. Well to me, it's one of the best Vivita lenses that is available in the market. This is M42 screw mount. One thing I always look before I buy old lenses that is the number of aperture blades for the bokeh shapes. This copy has 8 aperture blades so you get a smooth bokeh and a nice sunstar. If you are new and if you do not know it, uh, well bokeh is affected by the shapes of the diaphragm blades of the lens. As you can see, bokeh is very pleasing, it's not busy, not distracting at all. You can see how smooth it is. This one is unedited footage, so you get an idea about the colors as well. Now it's time to talk about the flaws. This lens has focus breathing issue. As you can see in this video, which is not only annoying for videos, but also if you are focus tracking images, you will face it. Otherwise, it's a very good lens. I really love using this lens. What I do for filming uh, is that I set my focus priority and then I film my subject. As you can see in this footage, Apart from this, I really don't have anything to complain about this lens. Also, if you don't like flares, then it prones to flare as it is not a multi-coated lens. But I like lens flares, so for me, it's not a problem at all. 
I like to use my old lenses for night sky as well. This is how it performed on a heavily light polluted city sky. I think I have covered all the points that I know. I hope you find it useful. Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.